Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back to another episode of Bravely Second. So we're about to go to the uh, Skyhold, Skyfort, whatever that thing is called, the big diamond in the sky. But before we do, like usual, I've got a lot to update you on because I spent a little bit of time between this episode and the last, and there's been a lot of changes. So first, bam, let's take a look here. You can tell everyone is around a level 86, so I grinded a bit more. Few of the classes are a tiny bit different, and the most important part, if you look at our peak is all the way in the corner of down there we have six million six hundred thousand almost so i basically went out to look for pig and during that i leveled up some class so let me highlight the changes here um there's really nothing different with tiz magnolia or you they're all just the same setups you know the wizard with the meteor the pirate with the uh free lunch the bishop with the wizard but a deal with Knight just wasn't uh, doing anything for me. It just it was like a very tanky, but it just wasn't it wasn't even saving them when needed it. So what I ended up doing is, you know what? I wanted to play with Ninja. Ninja sounded like fun. So I went ahead and put a deal to Ninja, and I maxed her out. And then what I also did was I maxed her uh, Charioter uh, job out, just because I wanted that quad wheeled at the bottom there. So you could see now if we go to her abilities, I have the quad wield here, which means I can put weapons in the place of her armor. So if we go here, you could see I basically I put the two weapons that I had plus two katanas because that's what I had lying around in place of her armor. So she's going to be doing a lot of hits and a lot of damage. So I thought this was super, super cool. Um, quad wield ninja, you know, um, so no more night. But honestly, I'm going to try to kill bosses in one turn anyway. Um, the rest of everyone's pretty much the same. Um, I don't think I did anything different with anyone else. Um, but here is the reason why I did even all this. The leveling, the uh, job. It was mainly for the peak. And that is because before I go to the Sky Tower, and I know it's not the end of the game. we got a little bit more to go. I just wanted to buy these really great weapons. And I also wanted to buy some costumes. So if we go here in Chompshire or Champshire, however you guys want to pronounce it, we will now be able to absolutely cash out. So we've got 6.6 mil, meaning each item is 0.2 mil, meaning we're going to be able to get around 35 to 40 items. And I think, theoretically, that'd be more than enough. So let's start from here. Um. Oh, you guys might be wondering, how did I get so much pig? I bought one of these growth eggs which doubles peak but doesn't do any xp or jp i put this on tiz and that's also how we got a lot of money so i actually had to grind to one mil first buy this and after that i got all the way to 6.6 .6 mil um, but i don't think we're gonna actually need any of this stuff really what we're gonna be looking at here is so uh shield so I, I need two shields one for actually wait a minute do i even need shields now that I think about it, you know what? No, I will need one shield. I will definitely need one shield. So let's buy the unbreakable just for Tiz. And then here's where we have some fun. So um, let's go ahead and buy... Okay, we need two staffs here for you. So um, by Prella mode. Ooh, okay. So let's buy one of these. And then let's buy one... F Ooh, wait, but the Ominous Crow one is sick too. Um, hmm, I think I'm gonna buy the Magneto Fire one, okay, we're gonna need one of these for Tiz, okay, um, what is that increase here, okay, so real quick, I'm gonna buy the one for Holly White here, I think that's the one I'm gonna get for him, Ooh, okay, and then now we have three we can pick from. Kyoko's, the Jackals, or Angelo's. Let's buy two of the Jackals. Let's buy one Kyoko, and then one Angelo. So that should be good. Um, Let's see, what else do we need? We don't need any of that stuff. So that's f that's everything for Idea. Now we need for Magnolia. I'm trying to think. She's a pirate, so she's going to need these. So we've got, let's buy one of Barbarossa, one of Napcaddy, and I think that's all we need. We don't need any more of these because Adia is no longer on a sword. Now let's go ahead and go to equipment and see the new stuff. So we have a new staff here. So we've got, um, I guess let's, 
Let's go to this, because this is what I'm looking for, for the mind. Okay, so, yes, this is Holly White's. This is actually the staff that I want. So I'm going to put Holly White staff there, and then, ooh, the Unbreakable. That's actually kind of a sick sword, or a shield, not a sword. So I'm going to go ahead, let's place, I kind of want to buy the other shields to see what they look like. But let's go ahead and put the Unbreakable there. Oh, also, this needs to be put back to, um, I forgot what it was before. Force, force armlets, yes, that's the one. Okay, so let's go to the next one. We're going to replace the her daggers. These are actually cool daggers in her hand right here, but let's see what we got here. So we got the sweet kiss. Ooh. Actually, the jackals looks kind of sick. It's, okay, so I definitely think I'm going to put the jackals up front because his just looks sick uh, uh sick and then the other two are still look really cool but i'm gonna go ahead and put them in the other two slots where you actually won't be able to see them but that's gonna look super super cool all right let's take a look at the so we got okay so we got barbarossas let's go back up here so we can see a barbarossas and the kitty Okay, honestly, both of them look all right. So I'm just going to put one there. And the Iron Duke there. And then lastly, we've got the two. Let's see, I'm going to want to go here. So we have... Um, Oh, this is the doll one. This is the doll one, and then this is... That is ominous. So let's go ahead and put that there. Now I wonder, if I put this... So this actually will increase our attack... It'll lower everything else, but I think that's f very worth it. So let's go ahead and put both of those on there. Okay, so now here's where the rest of my money is going to go. So I want th four freelancers. I want three more washcloths. And then now we have three more mil to spend. And I'm going to spend those on the other outfits in the game. Um, so real quick, let's just... So if you guys have noticed, this episode's kind of like a really like extra episode here. But if we go to equipment, let's take a look at every single uh, thing that we bought. So obviously, we already had the Shepherd's Garb from Norende. But if we go here, this is the Freelance. Oh, in this game, I forgot he started in the tank, right? So his, free so his Freelancer Garb is this. And his Washcloth is this. So I'm tempted to... You know what? I'm going to put his Washcloth on. We've got Adia's Washcloth, obviously, with her two little swords there. And then we've got her... Uh, freelance garb here, which also actually I'm really I'm a fan of this design here I think for now. I'm gonna have everyone in their washcloths just because I think I find it hilarious But then this is also Magnolia's freelancer garb for the end of the game. I might actually get everyone on the freelancer garb But just for just for giggles just for a while. We're gonna leave everyone here and we've got Hughes uh, freelancer garb and his washcloth So okay, that is everyone in a washcloth maxed out three more mil Okay, so there's a couple costumes that I'm looking at. It looks like the ones that are really cool are either in Gathladio or El Campus. Those are where the majority of those are held. So, um, let's go ahead and do... Ooh, okay, this is kind of funny. Everyone's in a washcloth there. Like I said, we'll have a few fights in our washcloths, and then I'll probably change them out for the freelancer garbs. Okay, everybody, so I actually just looked into it. It looks like... The, the brunt of the rest of the costumes are actually locked away in Chapter 6. So we can't actually get those just yet. Um, I guess without further ado, we can go ahead and, um... Let's make sure our... Okay, our counter's off. We're level, um, 87, 86, 85. We don't need any more encounters. I'm just gonna be completely honest with you. Let's finally go to the main mission. I know we spent a lot of time there looking at items and garbs and... Um, but I think that those are going to make the game a lot more fun, you know, and I want to complete as much of this game as humanly possible here Let's go ahead and enter into here That's hilarious by the way. We're going aboard professor Be safe my children That is enough my students Eat rest and replenish your strength. We will have need of you again before long All right, here we go Fire up the bats. Full steam ahead. Fire up the bats. Well, we're earning our guards, so. Here. 
They sure are. Let's go. It's time to finish this. So I think let's go ahead and do the next boss fight. The bow that destroyed Fat Loon is here too. My home, my people shall be avenged. Let's just do this one fight in the washcloth, and then I'll change them back to their um freelance garbs. Because I actually I really do like the freelance garbs. Okay, so 52 to 56 level recommendation. You can see right there. Completely breaking that out of the water. We're almost 90. So that is cool. Okay, we got a party chat here. A brief history of the Empire 1. How fascinating. You, you look at this paper. It's so crumpled, I can hardly make anything out. Look, here, it's your brother's name. What? He gets, you're right. Being a true record of the life of the Kaiser Oblivion, formerly known as Denny Geniolja. It's authored by a historical records office of the Grand Empire. Looks like someone tried to destroy the document. Look at the burn marks. Whoever it must have been in a big hurry, you can still make a lot of the text. In the days before the founding of our glorious empire, our great Kaiser was known as Denny's scion of okay that's uh as first as firstborn son he was destined to command the crystal guard until he was disowned by his own father after losing his sword arm crippled though he left gath Ladio on a humble uh dinghy and charted a course across the vast and open sea and then that's all i can make out the rest of the burnt is, is burnt to a crisp all right let's push on Brief History of the Empire 2. You look, it's another volume. On the Lonely Cape, the outcast scion Lord Denny met a father and son by the name of Grace. The father Geist, moved deeply by Lord Denny's ideals, did swear allegiance, a gesture which Lord Denny's gladly accepted. At this time, including Geist and his son, Lord Denny's could not count even ten loyal men to his name. Look, there's more. In his travels, Lord Denny's did encounter the sorceress Bella and her self-proclaimed uh, vassal, Ku. Revenant and Ku had a dispute over some trifling matter, and the two came to blows. When the fighting subsided, Lord spoke with brutal honesty to Bella and her vassal, and the two committed themselves to the cause. In year 15 of the duchy, Lord uh, armies numbered some 50 men, including Geist, his son, Bella and her vassal. Year 15? That was one year before my first assignment. We'd love to see it. We're almost to the end of our journey, aren't we? Yeah. All that remains is to stop the Kaiser. If you've got something that still needs doing, now's the time. Indeed. Regrets are like rutabagas. Far better overcooked than left untouched in the pantry. Whoa, all tires back. And making as much sense as ever. I remember you said something similar before about leaving things undone in this world. Ah, oh, that. I was speaking of a personal matter. Of a woman I loved. A woman I still love. I speak of Vega. My light. Who is this Vega? My life. My everything. You miss her. With all my heart. But she is lost to me. Forever. Oh. I hail from a different world than you. A place you know as the Celestial Realm. Vega was from the Celestial Realm, too. It was there that we met, fell in love, and were married. But this was so, so many years ago. And the joy was all too brief. The Celestial Realm was beset by a calamity that threatened to wipe out all life as we knew it. And so it was that we boarded a ship and fled for safety. Our destination was a lush, verdant planet known as Luxendark. So Vega came here with you? No. There was an unfortunate mishap. And she did not make it on board in time. By the time I realized she was not with us, it was too late. I had no choice but to continue the journey with my fellow voyagers. I would give anything to see her again, even for a fraction of a nanosecond. 
Though my body is long gone, and only my soul remains, her memory still haunts me. I'm so sorry. But forgive me. I should not burden you with such things as your final battle draws nigh. Pay no heed to my idle ramblings. My regrets are mine alone to bear. But hear me well. If you truly love someone, make your feelings known before it is too late. Hmm. Yes, especially you. Huh? W m me? With the right dressing, a simple piece of lettuce can become a salad. Yes, presentation can be important. I speak of candles, a red tablecloth, that sort of thing. Hmm? Red tablecloth? Oh, but I have already said too much. The rest is up to you. Bon courage! Uh, thanks? Oh, and perhaps you could lend Tiz that pendant. I believe he has something to tell someone. Now, if you will excuse me, adieu! Uh, yes. Here you go, sir. Cool. Am I good? Am I here? Unmuted? Okay, perfect. Let's go ahead and give it a quick save here. So, like I said, I'm going to go through this one fight with the washcloth. And I'll, I'll, for next episode, I'll go ahead and get the more reasonable uh, freelancer garbs on everyone. Because I think everyone's freelance garbs looks cool, basically, except use personal opinion. But lots of big old diamonds, man. I could sell those bad boys for a lot of peak. No one's here? Curses! Where did he go now? If you're looking for his majesty, afraid you just missed him. We secured his escape route before returning here, to wait for you. It's weird, but I remember it all. Fighting you in that other world. In the end, you understood me. You're a true friend, you. And I'd be lying if I said I wasn't happy to see you again. Still, you get it, don't you, you? We can't let you go on. Worlds and timelines may change. But our minds will not. We shall not waver from our chosen path. I knew you'd say that. You'll never back down. And neither will I. Come, my friends. Ready when you are. Let's do this. Show us the strength of your will. Hey, let's do this. All right, let's go ahead and brave a few times here. We've got everyone's cool new equipment now. Okay. Do a little bit more default here. Not going to be able to hit us super, super hard. Um, you know what we'll do? So with... Let's go ahead and just do... No, let's do a default here. With Adia. Raise Evasion. Hold on. Oh, so this is just for the turn. Okay. So I'll do that. Go ahead and do that next episode. Um, you know, we'll just default. Could I do anything to... No, not really. Well, actually, I could do a Piercing Bolt just to raise my M attack for next what next turn. What are you turn. about? We're fighting a battle here. Or haven't you noticed? I was just thinking. It's been a long time since the three of us were together. You remember, don't you? When we were still the three Cavaliers? The day we swore to save Agnes? Together. You're going soft again, you! You should be thinking about your future, not the past! Now isn't the time to wallow in sentiment! I haven't forgotten who my enemies are, but I'm not just gonna throw my memories away. Tell me, back then, had you already decided to betray me? It doesn't matter. The friendship I felt was real, even now. Say your prayers! So, saying that, I'm gonna throw a piece of, uh piece of magic at you keep you okay that'll raise our m attack here which will be cool okay so now this turn we can go ahead and just do some fun things we can do a resurrect as a mist then we can do a benediction as a mist 
With the Dia, we can go ahead and do raise hit count for this turn and then attack Nikolai. Magnolia, we can go and do a free lunch and then do the Amp Strikes. And then with you, we can go ahead and do the Meteor with Rain. Meteor with Rain. I'm going to go ahead and um, make it a little slower. The three Cavaliers, all for one. Even though you betrayed me, I can't forget that. Even if I wanted to. After all that's happened, still, you seek to bring us back to your side. But I fear such efforts will prove fruitless, Master Yu. Surely, even you can see. We have chosen different paths, and we have all come too far to turn back now. Maybe so, but I'm gonna keep trying. I'll find a way to bring us back together, no matter how far apart.